Hello there. This is a, a repost of a song that I did a, a long time ago called Mole's Moan. I learned it from Tom Rush. And um, I'm just going to play it for you and then uh, we'll talk about it. Uh, it's an open G tuning. This is a good one uh, to introduce you to open G, which is from low to high. D, G, D, G, B, D. So the, the D, the G, and the B stay the same as a regular tuning. And the low E goes to D, the A goes to D, G, and the high E goes to D. You get the G chord. Uh, but I will play it for you. The, the sort of things you're going to need to be able to play this, you're going to be able to have to do at least a, a passable Travis pick. Because it's pretty much based on that. Um, but you'll find that the left hand is not that difficult. Okay, so enough chatter. Here we go. Okay, so first of all, let's just review it part by part. So the first section on the right hand, the closest you can see what I'm doing on the B string and the D string. Okay, so you start on the 12th fret. I'm using my middle two fingers, B string, 12th fret, D string, 12th fret. So that's position one. Then you move down two frets to the tenth fret. Both of them. And then you're going to go to that is eight, that is nine. And then seven and seven, same two strings, D and B. Five and five. Three and four. One and two, open. Okay, and that just goes straight to 10, 10, I mean 12, 12, 10, 10, 8, 9, 7, 7, 5, 5, 3, 4, 1, 2, open. And what I'm doing is a basic Travis pick, which is, if you don't know how to play it, well, you might want to do that first. Okay, so my th 
thumb is going between the fifth string and the fourth string. And it's pinched, so it's pinch, thumb and middle finger, thumb, index, thumb, middle. Lots of little variations, but that's how you're going to want to start out. So you do that one time on each one of these patterns, these positions, I should say. Turn back up, ten, eight, nine, seven, and seven, five, and five. Now here's the trick: you've got to go these three and four to one and two, and they're only a half measure each. So believe it or not, nothing changes up here. This just goes, keeps that same pattern going, but you switch halfway through, so you can get both hands here. third thumb, when the thumb comes back to that fifth string, that's when you switch. Okay, so that's part one. Um, I do a little uh, sort of lick at the end of that to get you back up, so I'll go. What's that? I'm hammering on to the low sixth string. Open fifth string. So. That's extra credit. If you can do that, great. If you can't, just work on these parts separately and you'll get better. All right, the second part does the same positions. Well, I, I lied. It actually leaves one out. So it, Here's how the second part goes. Now, all of these are going to be split 50-50 in each measure. So here it is, second part. You see that? So tempo hasn't gone up, but you switched instead of going a whole pattern. Now you're doing a split pattern. So what are we doing? Well, the first measure is 12 and 12 to 10 and 10. Then 8 and 9. 7 and 7. And then, whoops, I'm sorry. I take that back and go straight from here, 8 and 9 to 5 and 5. So it goes. That's the biggest jump. Eight, nine to five and five. And then three and four. Okay, so one more time. turnaround at the end of that second section and you're hammering on to this which is a C chord in this tuning and you're going like this so I start out fifth and second hammer on that C chord hit the high E string, or in this case, D string. And I hit the low D, open, and then I go second to fourth fret on the A string, or the G string, I should say. Okay, so now the 
last section is high, and it starts out with a harmonic. And again, if you don't know how to get harmonics, that's something you have to work on. But 12th fret, you just basically, when you get a harmonic, you want to just touch the string, not press it, touch it right over the 12th fret. And then once you stroke the string, you lift your finger. And you get that nice sound. That's exactly halfway, half the length of the string. That's why you can get those harmonics there. So I keep the same pick going, but for that first pinch, I, I pinch everything. Thumb, second string, third string, all together with the harmonic. And then I finish the pattern. Then I go to the 10th fret on the first two strings. A little bit out of tune there. So I still let Travis pick, but now I'm pinching the second string. And then I go to the first string. So that's kind of reverse the order of the fingers. Green there for a minute. <laughs> now, so those are the basic parts. Now I've done a few little variations. I'll give you one or two of them. On this part, what I call the second part, uh, I do this pattern. So what am I doing there? Again, I'll try to get everything in the screen here. I pinch the second and the fourth string thumb and finger, and then I play the open fifth, like this. Didn't mean to hit that. It worked, but I didn't mean to. So the normal picking pattern would be this. The other thing that I'm doing is on that first section, I go like this. So watch my uh, right hand here. See, for that last finger, instead of coming back to the second string, I'm going to hit the first string. So I get this. There's some information, maybe too much, maybe not enough, but uh, hopefully you can figure it out from there. Have fun.